everybody, this is Lindsay from windingrowcrochet.com and today I'm going to be demonstrating for you how to make this cute blanket yarn sloth. To make this sloth, you will need to know how to chain, single crochet, increase with a single crochet, single crochet two together or decrease, and how to slip stitch. You can find a link to the written pattern in the description box below, as well as a materials list. For this project, I am using the Bernat Ombre yarn, and you can actually get two sloths out of one skein of yarn, but you may just need to get a little bit creative with how you use up your yarn. There's enough yardage, but there may not be enough of one color to do the full body in the color that you're looking for. So before I started crocheting my sloth, I went ahead and separated out the yarn into its different colors. Now the first two skeins you see on the left hand side, those are both one color a piece. The two larger balls that you see I have, those are actually two colors of the ombre. They're very, very close to each other for those two colors, but there is two colors there and that's why they have a little bit more weight to them. Darkest color is a color that I've made a sloth in already and I was able to do the body, the arms, and the legs all in that dark color. You are going to see me crocheting with the medium tone color here and you will notice that I will run out. I won't have the full body in that color. So just a little bit of an idea and I'll show you how I get creative and finish off the sloth with what I have. So I'm going to be crocheting with an 8 millimeter hook. And then I have my medium tones of yarn here. If you look, you can see that the yarn coming out of the center is a little bit darker than the yarn on the outside. So it is two colors of the ombre. And that's what I'll be using for the body and most of the arms. To start, make a slip knot and put your yarn on your hook. And we are going to chain five. Now we are going to work an increase or simply two single crochet into the second chain from the hook. You can also see this on the graph above. So two single crochet into the second chain from the hook. One single crochet into the next chain. And then the chain after that will also have one single crochet. And then into the very last chain, we will work four single crochet. So we're at our last chain, and into this chain, we are going to work two increases or four single crochet into this last chain. That is going to loop us around to the other side of the chain. So it's a second single crochet, third single crochet and fourth single crochet into that very last chain. And that's pulled me around to the other side. So now I'm going to work a single crochet into the next two chain. This is on the opposite side of what we just worked. So we're working one single crochet into the next two stitches and then into the very last chain on this side we are going to work an increase or two more single crochet into that chain because it has two single crochet worked in on the other side. Now we're just going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet. And there you have your row one. Moving on to row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Into these first two stitches, we are going to increase or work two single crochet. So one single crochet and two single crochet. To the next stitch, one single crochet and then a second single crochet. And down the middle, the next two stitches will work one single crochet each. One, two, and then working around the loop here, we are going to work an 
increase into the next four stitches that's going to work us around that loop. So your first increase, second increase, third increase, and your fourth increase. Now we'll single crochet into the next two stitches. So one single crochet, one single crochet, and then in the last two stitches here, we will increase in each of these stitches. So one single crochet, two single crochet into this stitch, and then one, and two single crochet into the next stitch. Now we'll just slip stitch to the very first single crochet and we're on to row three. For row three, you will chain one and turn your work. And then we are going to do a repeat of single crochet increase twice for the beginning of this row. So single crochet into the first stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch, one, two, single crochet into the third stitch, two single crochet into the fourth, one, two, one single crochet into the next two stitches, one in this stitch and one in the next stitch. Now working around the half circle here, we are going to do a repeat of a single crochet and then an increase. And do that four times. So we will single crochet into the first stitch and then increase in the next stitch. And repeat that three more times. Working the last increase of our repeat four. Now we will single crochet once into the next two stitches. One, two, and then we'll work that same repeat twice more along the edge of this curve. So single crochet in the next stitch, increase, single crochet, and then increase. And then slip stitch to our first single crochet of this row. So now we have the oval base for the bottom of our sloth. And that's definitely the hardest part of this pattern. From now on, it's gonna get a lot easier as we work our way up. You will just simply be doing rows of single crochet all the way around. So for row four, we're gonna chain one and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch around. So we've single crocheted in each stitch around work our last single crochet and then slip stitch to the very first single crochet. So we're starting to get a little bit of a bowl shape here. So we're chain one and turning and we'll start on row five and row five through row 11 is going to be a repeat of row four. So just single crochet in each stitch around, slip stitch to the first stitch and repeat and I will show you once I get done with row 11. So here I am finishing up row 11. Work my last single crochet and slip stitch to the first single crochet. Chain one and turn. Working row 12, we are going to create a small, little bit of a neckline by decreasing in this row. 
So we will single crochet in the first stitch and then decrease or single crochet two together in the second and third stitch. We're single crocheting those two together. And then we will single crochet in the next stitch and then decrease in the next two stitches. So you pull up a loop in the first stitch, pull up a loop in the second stitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Now we'll single crochet in the next two stitches. Working along the other side of the oval, we'll do this repeat four times. We're going to single crochet and decrease. It's our first repeat single crochet, decrease, it's our second repeat, single crochet, decrease as our third repeat, and then single crochet, decrease as our fourth repeat. Going across the front of the oval, you're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then do our repeat twice more. Single crochet and decrease, single crochet and decrease, and then slip stitch to the first single crochet. You'll see just a little bit we'll have it curve in. It'll just give a hint of a neck on our sloth. For the next row, row 13, we'll chain one and turn and we're going to work the opposite of row 12. So we will single crochet in the first stitch and then increase in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch and increase in the following stitch. Working along the front, we will single crochet in the next two stitches, and then we'll work our repeat along the edge. Single crochet, increase for our first repeat, single crochet, increase for our second repeat, single crochet, increase for our third repeat, single crochet, increase for our fourth repeat. Working along the front, single crochet in the next two stitches, and then our repeat once again, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, and slip stitch to the first single crochet. So our rows will come in just a little bit and then come back out due to those increases and it'll give us a little bit of a neckline. Now we are going to grab our lightest color of yarn and in the next row we are going to start working the face on to our sloth. Before we get started on the next row I did just want to show you that my colors are about to change. It is very subtle but my the head of my sloth will be just a little bit lighter than the body of the sloth. So we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to single crochet into the first four stitches. But on that fourth single crochet, we're going to change colors to our lightest pink color or whatever color you're choosing to use for the face. Now we will single crochet six with the lighter color working over our darker color. 
So working around that piece of yarn and through the stitch, we'll work six light pink single crochets. Here's our six single crochet. We're gonna yarn over with the pink, the medium pink. Leave that tail there because we'll pick it up later. And then we'll continue working the rest of the row with the medium pink. You can see right here is when my color is actually changing over. And then we will just slip stitch to the first single crochet. Chain one and turn. Moving on to row 15, we're going to single crochet 17 in the pink. And this will just simply take us around until we're one stitch before we start with the light pink. I'll stop two stitches before the light pink. And in this stitch here, we are going to change to light pink. Just yarn over the light pink and pull that through to finish that stitch. And the next eight single crochet will be the light pink. On our eighth single crochet of light pink, we'll switch back over to the medium pink. You want to take your light pink yarn and just keep it on the inside of your sloth. And then work the last three single crochet as the medium pink. Slip stitch to the first single crochet. We're on to row 16. So here is the face of your sloth coming together. And for the next two rows, you'll work a medium pink stitch in the medium pink of the previous row, as well as a light pink stitch in the light pink of the previous row. So you can count this if you'd like. For this row, it's gonna be three medium pink, eight light pink, and then 17 medium pink along the round. Work our last stitch and slip stitch to the first single crochet. Chain one and turn. Row 17 will be 17 single crochet in pink, eight single crochet in light pink, and three single crochet in pink. Slip stitch to the first single crochet, chain one, and start row 18. For row 18, we'll do four single crochet in pink, six single crochet in the light pink, and 18 single crochet in pink to finish this row. And this will be the last row of putting in the light pink for the face. Just slip stitch to the first single crochet, clip your light pink yarn, and get that out of our way. Just tuck it onto the inside of your sloth. And we will chain one and continue with row 19, in which we will just single crochet in every stitch around. A really good time to count your stitches to make sure you have 28 because starting the next row we will start decreasing and we want to make sure we have the right number of stitches. Mm -hmm. 
slip stitch to the first single crochet and we're on to the next row chain one and turn now we will start decreasing so you will single crochet into the first stitch and then decrease over the next two stitches also known as single crochet two together we'll repeat that again single crochet into the first stitch and then pull up a loop into the next two stitches yarn over pull through to single crochet two together now we'll single crochet in the next two stitches and then do the same repeat four times single crochet into the next stitch decrease in the next two stitches single crochet decrease for a repeat number two single crochet decrease the third time and single crochet decrease a fourth time now we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches and do the same repeat twice more single crochet decrease single crochet decrease and then slip stitch to your first single crochet of this row we'll move on to the next row chain one turn our work going to do decrease over the first two stitches a decrease over the second two stitches single crochet in the next two stitches four decrease in a row one two three four single crochet into the next two stitches and then decrease twice more slip stitch to the first single crochet of this row you can see how our head is starting to decrease and come together at the top chain one and turn ready to do our very last row of the body We're going to decrease over the first two stitches single crochet in the next two stitches and it's going to get a little tight here so we close everything up do two decrease Our second decrease single crochet in the next two stitches and then decrease in the last two stitches you'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and make sure you leave yourself enough of a tail so you can sew this up later but do not stuff your sloth yet or sew it up because we are going to need to make the eye patches put in the safety eyes sew on our or embroider on our face for the sloth and I will show you how to do that as well as how to make the arms and the legs and the fingers in the next video so I hope you'll like the sloth so far and that you'll come back and check out the second video